Hey guys, welcome to your Pisces versus all 12 signs reading for February 2024. Um, you can apply this to any of your placements. Um, uh, yeah, so first we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for February, okay? Uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys can expect, and then we'll finish off the read with Pisces versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you, uh, uh, just a quick note, you guys, um, for the all tall signs portion, you versus them, uh, that is not time stamped because these messages are so quick. Um, and it's not really worth time stamping because it's not like when I do my lives, you know, when I do all the tall signs. So if someone wants to time stamp it for me, that would be much appreciated. Uh, and thank you in advance if someone does. Okay, so Pisces. Tell me about Pisces here. What's going on with Pisces for February 2024? What's surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know for February 2024? Okay, so we have the Six of... Uh, the Ten of Swords actually came out first, okay? And then the Six of Swords. So what's happening is I feel like you went through some sort of major betrayal and ending here. And I feel like what you have done here or what you're about to do is that you're going to actually leave this behind, you you know, you're going to start the healing process. I mean, some of you guys has been so hurt by the situation. I feel like some of you guys are, are, are physically moving away just to have a new beginning, just to start a new life here. I mean, this could be regarding work here, okay? This could also be regarding romance here too, but I feel like you need to get away in order for you to begin that healing process here, okay? Yeah, some of you guys could be stepping in, in, into a new job here soon where I feel like you guys are going to be working a lot. Um, some of you guys could be truck drivers. Some of you guys could be bus drivers, train drivers, even pilots or something like that too, okay? It's so interesting because if you work in the job like that, if you guys have been looking for um, some sort of pay increase through your union or something like that, I feel like it didn't work out. Yeah, uh, I feel like some of you guys are... Mm, it's interesting. Some of you guys could have gone on strike or that you guys are about to go on strike and it just doesn't work out. Okay, so let's see. Ten of Wands here. We have the Devil. Oh, wow. Pisces, I feel like you're going through a lot. Um... I'm not gonna lie, Pisces, I do feel like when it comes to your work situation, I feel like you guys are definitely going through a rough time here, okay? And I do feel like because of the rough situation that you're going through at work, I feel like you guys have to physically move away or that you guys are just, you know what? I'm not getting what, what what I want here. I'm just gonna end this and, you know, move on to something else here or move on to a different job, okay? Because I feel like you've been feeling very overwhelmed and very overworked here, okay? We have the devil, Capricorn energy, okay? Some of you guys could have been working in a very toxic work situation here. And this is something that you just don't want or need in your life at this time. All right. And then we have the five. Yeah, I feel like it's a very to toxic work situation. Very competitive here. Could be a situation where people are throwing each other under the bus. And, and it's so interesting. I feel like... Um, Whoever created this business here or whoever created this company here, I do feel like it's definitely been shrouded with a lot of karma here. Lots of karmic debts by this individual here. And I feel like you and other people that has been working for this individual, I feel like you guys started taking that on here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? We have the High Priestess. So Pisces, I feel like for you, High Priestess and the Six of Swords, I feel like for you, you know that this is the right thing for you to do is to move away from this. Okay, this could be also indication that, you know, maybe some of you guys could be taking a, vac a vacation here too. Uh, but, you know, this could also be indication that, yeah, it's time to end this or it's time to let this work situation go because I see it for what it is. And, the, and you feel like maybe nothing's going to change or that you feel like it's going to get worse here. Okay, the Ten of Wands here and the, yeah, Five of Cups, you know, I feel like the longer that you're staying, the, the more, the more and more you're feeling like you're 
disappointed, you know? So we have the Five of Cups here and the Ten of Wands. Tell me the, uh, uh, the Devil here. Why is the Devil here? And the Seven of Wands, yeah. So what we have here is I feel like you're definitely trying to draw the line with these individuals here. And what happened is I feel like you didn't get what you want here. And I feel like, you know what, I'm going to put myself first and get out of here. You know, the uh, Five of Swords and the, the Lovers here, Gemini Energy. I feel like you love yourself enough. You have dignity and integrity to walk away from a situation that's not serving you here, okay? I feel like the next role that you are walking into, there is a, a job offer coming in for you where I feel like there's going to be a bit of an increase in pay. And I feel like this new work situation here, these individuals will really take care of you, all right? What else do we have here for Pisces? Pisces versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces. Pisces versus all 12 signs from Aries all the way to Pisces for, oh, for February 2024. February 2024. Alright, tell me about Aries versus Pisces, uh, Pisces versus Aries here with the Chariot, Cancer Energy here and the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. I do feel like between you and this person, things are moving forward really well. I do feel like this is a very healing and a very spiritual connection between you and this Aries here, Pisces, okay? Tell me about Pisces versus a Taurus here with the Nine of Swords here and the Eight of Swords. Wow. Um, I feel like you're walking on eggshells with this person. I feel like you're just feeling very stuck. Things are not really moving forward with this individual. Eight of Swords here and Nine of Swords, okay? Tell me about... Uh, um, Pisces versus a Gemini here with the Queen of Swords here and the Two of Wands. Um, this person has options here. They don't really quite know what they want, but I also feel like with the Queen of Swords here, this person is very honest about uh, letting you know that so that this person's, you know, so that there's no surprises here, okay? Um, uh, Pisces versus a Cancer here with the Page of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. Um, you might be meeting this person off one of those dating websites and they feel like all this person wants with you is sex. Yeah, um, Page of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. Um, Pisces versus a Leo here with the Lovers here and Judgment. Um, someone here is coming to a realization that someone here is falling in love with you, or this could be indication that if you're separated from this person, this person is looking for a reconciliation here with you, looking to rekindle this connection here with you. The Lovers and the Judgment card with this Leo here. Uh, Pisces versus a Virgo here with the Nine of Cups here and the Five of Wands. Okay. There's definitely a lot of drama here, a lot of conflict here. Um, so interesting because I feel like this person has a lot of people that is wanting them and it's making you feel jealous, okay? So uh, this is uh, Pisces versus Virgo. Pisces versus a Libra here with the Five of Swords here and the Three of Cups. This person is playing a lot of mind games here, okay? This person is playing a lot of mind games here. Um, if you feel like this person is like seeing and talking to other people here to make you jealous, this person is definitely doing it. Um, it kind of makes them feel important or makes them feel good. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Pisces versus a Scorpio here with a Wheel of Fortune here and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Whoever this is, I feel like this person is definitely coming back around to make this connection work here with you. Okay. And it seems like this person could also be facing their karma here for perhaps doing something to you in the past, such as manipulating you, okay? Uh, but yeah, this person, or, or, or that it could be a situation that shoes on the other foot because you're rejecting this person or something like that, or that, it, you know, you're turning the tables on them. Tell me about uh, Pisces versus a Sagittarius with the Four of Cups here and the Star card. This person's thinking about you a lot. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as their shining star here. Um, Pisces versus a uh, Capricorn here with two of pentacles here and the seven of pentacles. Um, I feel like this person's completely wasting your time. I feel like this person doesn't know what they want, what they're looking for. This person is juggling you. This person is dodging your messages. This person is just not really, you know, responsive, you know, or talkative. Um, so I feel like this person is like not really interested. Okay. Um, Pisces versus uh, an Aquarius with the Three of Pentacles here and the Four of Pentacles. Um, this person is definitely pulling their energies back, and I feel like this person doesn't really have a lot to offer here or to bring to the table here uh, when it comes to this relationship here. Tell me about Pisces versus a Pisces here with the eight of pentacles here and the hierophant here uh this person wants to this person is loyal to you you know and i feel like whatever obstacles that you guys are going through here i do feel like this person wants to remove those obstacles okay so pisces i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye